OMG, hey BFF, how are you? I am so disoriented right now because it is about to be the I Know Better um, anniversary. It's about to be a year since I Know Better came out, which is pretty crazy. I'm really excited about it. Um, so yeah, and it's really crazy because a year ago you stayed up for the live. Oh my gosh, you were so sweet. Because it's really crazy though, because a year ago at this time, I was probably on live. I'm sorry, I'm so disoriented. I spilled water. Gotta move. I spilled water because I was so like shaky. Like, OMG, it's almost a year since I Know Better came out. But yeah, so it's almost a year since I Know Better came out. And I'm so excited. Should we just do the light? I don't want to make anybody's head hurt. But yeah, so it's a year until a year. This is my I Know Better mic, so I feel like I had to wear it. And I have my I Know Better headband on because I'm ready for I Know Better. So basically, if you don't know, in 11 minutes, it'll be officially a year exactly since I Know Better came out. So to celebrate, I'm putting out an EP and it's a... I Know Better one year anniversary EP and I'm really excited about it. So it will include Yeah, yeah my name's Rose. Rose! Hi Rose! Hey Queen! Um, so anyways, I'm really really excited about it because it's gonna include the, and it's gonna be on Spotify, YouTube, um, Apple Music, Amazon, Tidal, Deezer, all those places. And I'm really, really excited about it because it's going to include the original I Know Better. It's also going to include um, an acapella version of I Know Better. And I'm really, really excited about the acapella. But just so you know, the actual singing starts at 16 seconds. So if you go to listen to the acapella, make sure to fast forward to 16 seconds to start to hear it. It's really fun. And then also the instrumental of I Know Better is coming out too. So it's going to be really fun. So basically, you can either, like, you can use the instrumental as karaoke if you want, which is really fun. So you can sing along to the song. Or what you can do is you can just listen to the instrumental because the instrumental is actually really fun to listen to. And, okay, so basically this song came out exactly a year ago. And so I didn't really... I didn't even have a TikTok a year ago. Like, I didn't know what TikTok was. Um, and the distributor that I used at the time didn't distribute songs to TikTok, so I Know Better was never on TikTok. But a little extra announcement, um, at 9 o'clock tonight, I Know Better will officially be on TikTok, which I'm so excited because it's a very TikTok song. Oh, gee, this is so exciting. Thank you, Alice Gardigan. It's just, it's so surreal. I can't believe a year ago at this moment, I was sitting here on live being like, oh my gosh, my first single is going to come out. I'm so nervous. And it's crazy. I feel like a lot's changed in a year. You know, like I feel in a very different place than I was a year ago. So it's crazy. But I still feel the same spirit, the same I Know Better glasses. Oh, I have my I Know Better shirt on. So yeah, uh, no better. Uh, no better, uh, no better. Uh, sorry, I had to. I had to. I'm really excited about it because I love I Know Better. It really is one of my favorite songs. I'm so happy you've done so well with your music. Thank you, music underscore L underscore T underscore E. That's really nice of you. Your eyes are so pretty. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Can you see them in these glasses? I know. I have my I Know Better glasses on because I Know Better is like this. So you need these glasses. Is this too much? Are these glasses too much? How can it be too much? And this song has been, to date, I believe it's my most streamed song, so thank you. And for putting out my first single, to get such a warm reaction for the first single was like amazing. This song has over three million streams, which is really, really insane. That's a lot. That's like a lot of people, so that's crazy. And this is a song that's so near and dear to my heart because I really wanted the first song that I ever put it out. Like I, cause a lot of my songs end up being sad because you know, like when I write music, it comes from a very P 
pure and honest place. So like when I'm writing, I'm not necessarily thinking about putting it out there and what message I want to send. Like it's almost kind of my internal therapy of what I'm going through. And that's why a lot of my songs are kind of sad. And then I feel bad because like I really try to be a positive person and I love to uplift people and empower people. But my songs do end up being sad because it's just, it comes from an honest place. And you know, a lot of times for me, that's when inspiration hits. But I Know Better was one of those songs where inspiration hit actually from a happy time. And that doesn't happen much. So I really wanted my first single to start on a happy note and start on an empowering note by saying, I know better. Like, I don't need this. I don't need these crazy boys who are messing with my head. I'm happier single. I don't need this. I know better than this. And I'm not going to fall for those games. I couldn't see the red flags like I was blind, but now now I know better. So I liked having that message because I think it is an important message because so many of us are in toxic relationships and life is hard enough. You know what I mean? Who has time for it? Who who has time? That's going to be really exciting. And just this, the I Know Better era in general has was so fun with the pink. You know, it's it's a very pink song to me. I don't know why, but when I hear I Know Better, I think of pink, you know? I just, I feel pink. Maybe it's because my soul is pink, but I really feel pink, and I feel this shirt, and just, it was a really fun era to do. And then singing it live was so fun, too. And it's just, it's such a fun song, and it might be my favorite that I put out. Like, I don't know if it is my favorite, but it just, every time I listen to it, it makes me happy, because... Like, a lot of my songs are sadder, so I don't listen to them, and they necessarily make me happier. Like, I more feel it, but I Know Better is that one song that I listen to I Know Better, and I just feel so happy when I listen to it. It just, it makes me happy, and I really hope it does that to you, because it's a really difficult time, and that's why it's kind of fun to re-celebrate it and do the one-year anniversary EP and do all that stuff, because... It's a positive song that I feel like we need in 2020 because 2020 is full of negativity and we just need something positive. So I really hope you enjoy the one year anniversary EP. By the way, it looks like it's about five minutes. Oh my gosh, it's five minutes. That means a year ago. Because I remember a year ago when I put out I Know Better, I went live five minutes before and I was freaking out. And especially because I never put out a song on Spotify before and stuff. So I really didn't know what I was doing, you know? Like, and so I was so scared. And also because I went live for the experience when I put it out. And this was a year ago. And like a year ago, like now you know, I go live every single day. But a year ago, I didn't. I went live maybe once a week. Or maybe, honestly, I think, I think it may have been the first time that I was going live like ever I was really nervous too it was crazy but I can't believe it's been a year it's really crazy how time flies but it was really fun and I remember the week that I know better came out was so fun too so it's really fun to relive that when did you release already there I released already there on January 31st yes I did which is really fun I always love seeing the lives Thank you. That's so nice of you. I really hope you enjoy the one-year anniversary, too. Um, mostly my favorite of the one-year anniversary, honestly, for me, is the acapella. Because I don't know why, but I love acapella music. I don't know why, but I think it's really cool. So basically, it's the vocal alone. And it's really cool because it's the vocal of I Know Better alone. But it isn't just the lead vocal. It also includes the harmonies. So you get to hear all the I Know Better harmonies. So like for I Know Better, you get to hear, uh, no better, uh, no better. And then you also get to hear, uh, no better, uh, no better. And then you get to hear like a low, uh, no better. And it's really fun. And you get to hear all those harmonies. So it's kind of fun because 
basically for the one year anniversary i'm kind of dissecting the song but not in a gross way like those pigs in science class that we don't want to dissect like we're actually dissecting the song in a fun cool way so that's the cool part about the acapella because I love it like I love it when you can hear in songs when you can hear a harmony in the songs or you hear those little background vocals and all that stuff and like I just love that in songs and so it's really cool because when you get the music taken away in the acapella you really get to hear all that and you get to hear all the harmonies and all the background vocals and all the stuff so it's really really fun i know better really good song thank you i'm so happy you like it i love your song i know better thank you i'm so happy you like it i'm it's cool it still seems relevant today a year later which is really fun um, I love dissecting songs. See me streaming Car Taylor Swift, Carrie Hilke back vocals. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Cause I know that I know better. One year anniversary is gonna include the instrumental too and the acapella. Dissecting songs, it is. It's so fun. Like I could waste so much time listening to songs and just like looking for the background vocals and be like. Oh, I hear it because it's crazy when you're just passing by casually listening to a song sometimes you don't hear all that stuff and you don't necessarily hear all those cool background vocals and it's really cool when you do I'm so excited for I know better to come back Ooh, and I'm excited for you to get to see the cover art because I love the cover art for the one year anniversary EP because it says um, it says the one year anniversary and it's the same cover art but it's different and it has the one year anniversary and it's cool and it's just it's like a time i don't know it's just really cool so i really hope you like it um i was wondering why she wasn't live in the morning yeah i had to save my live for the night i always do that on releases i like to save it were you nervous to release i know better i was so nervous because it was the first time that i'd ever put out a song that i wrote so i was like what if everybody hates it you know like that's very and then even for i know better i did so many fun things for i know better um and i got to perform it that week and everything and then i did the magazine for i know better which i don't know if you saw but it was really fun and i wrote all this stuff about i know better and how i wrote i know better and the photo shoot for i know better and just it was like pink and black which are my favorite colors i did like a dance scene it was disco it just reminds me of it. It just made me happy. I just love I Know Better era and like the theme of that song. Oh my gosh, it's nine o'clock. So I'm so excited to go back there. Okay, let's see if it's on Spotify. It's on Spotify. Oh my gosh, I have to show you. I have to show you. Look, it's on Spotify, the one year anniversary. It's out. Okay, how do we click it? See, look, it's out. The acapella and the instrumental. Oh my gosh, and see, that's the cover art. I really hope you enjoy it. Okay, so it's out now. Actually, a very smooth release. Usually when I do these, I go on Spotify and they're not there. And then I'm on live and I start freaking out. And I'm like, it's not there. Why is it not there? But it's actually there. Oh my gosh, so it's actually there. The one year anniversary album is out now. So I really hope you enjoy it. Um, make sure to go listen to it and tell me what you think. Uh, and I love you so much. And I, I really hope you enjoy this gift. And I'm so excited to celebrate I Know Better with you. And... Tomorrow I'm going to do a really fun live and we are going to have a little birthday party for I Know Better because I Know Better deserves a birthday party. So it's going to be fun. I love you so much and I hope you enjoy it. Bye.